Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. So with spring coming on, I thought we would just do a little bit of spring cleaning. Um, I'm trying to get that done here and there when I have time. Um, so in the morning here after I got the kids off to school and we were back home, I'm just kind of straightening up the living room here. Before we get started, um, we're going to be working in my office today and the primary bathroom as well. I'm trying to get those done and my spring cleaning this year uh, with the baby consists more of just getting a few more of the corners and just trying to refresh it and doing what I can in the time that I have. I'm not gonna be full on cleaning off walls and that kind of thing. Maybe I'll have time to do that later on um, in the summer. I also have this order that I got from Amazon, um, some shoes that I wanted to try on. I did their um, try before you buy. Um, I like to do that when I'm doing like clothing. That way you can try it on, see if it fits. And if they don't, you can always return it um, and without spending the money first. So I got three different pairs. Um, the first pair that I tried on was Dr. Scholl's. Those are super comfortable. I knew those would be really good. And then these other ones are Roxy, I think. Um, they're the same shoe. I just got two different colors. I wasn't quite sure which one would look better. And the Roxy's were a little small, so I would have to replace those with a larger size anyways, but I do like how they look um, as well. Weston here was playing with the other shoe box. He was so determined to get in the shoe box and sit in there. Um, he finally did get it managed. He has been growing so fast. Um, I can't believe he is um, 14 months already. So here's just another clip of him playing in the living room. He was looking at this magazine, looking at the two children that were on the page, um, and he found this very interesting. If you remember in a previous video, I shared this box unboxing and I didn't let you know exactly what it was so today I'm going to show you what I got for my website um, for my products online and it is this Xtool engraving laser engraver um, and I am working on getting my tumblers engraved um, getting all the settings perfected and things so that I can have them online um, so I've been working on that the last couple weeks um, as I had time so here is just kind of rewinding back to when I unboxed this and set it up um, so you can watch me unbox everything and get everything set up and then in a little bit here I'll put a tumbler in um, to engrave So I do have some available on my website now. Um, I will have everything linked in the description for you, my website and everything, so you can go check them out. Um, I have a few different designs and I would like to do some more designs for like summer and just keep working on um, my website and getting some more tumblers up and ready to sell. So here is my rotating um, little device for the tumblers. This will fit onto the tumblers and then it'll rotate as it is engraving. So now fast forwarding again today, I'm going to be putting in this seafoam tumbler. And first of all, I'm going to take off the handle like so, so that it rotates properly in my engraver. And then I'm just tightening it up and then making sure that it is straight and everything is level um, on there before we get started here. Mm -hmm. 
And then to check to make sure it is straight, I'm putting the laser um, over those little handle, where the handle um, connects, and then putting it up and down so that those are straight. That way I know the tumbler is straight as well. And then next I'll go over to the computer, bring up my design that I went on here, and then here I'm just framing that to make sure that um, my engraving will fit nicely on the tumbler where I want it. And then after I am done framing, making sure everything is perfect, I'm going to close the lid, turn on my air filter here in the back, and this one just um, goes up and connects into the cover that is covering the engraving machine. Um, and then I am ready to start. So we're going to close it up and the engraving is going to start here. Um, and then while that is going, I'm going to start here in the office. Now this has been quite a mess and I've been wanting to clean it up for a while here. Um, it's pretty embarrassing how it has gotten out of hand here in the office and I had a couple orders that I needed to get packed and shipped so I'm going to do that first. And to help manage with some of the chaos, I brought a basket in that I can put all of my tumbler supplies in, um, extra handles and um, tops and things like that. Everything that is tumbler related gets put into that basket and then I put it over in my closet. And now we can start just cleaning up here, um, getting things put away and just kind of assessing what needs to be done here on my workspace. And I get a lot of questions about this cabinet here and yes I did make this um, from scratch and no I probably wouldn't do it again. It's not perfect and it is kind of in need of some repairs and things so hopefully, um, hopefully it'll last for a little bit yet. And we're just checking on the engraving. It's going good so far. everything is kind of put away on the one side I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe everything down really well get everything cleaned up over on that side So now we're going to finish packaging up these two orders that I have now that I have a little bit more room on my workspace and I'm just getting um, the boxes out, getting them taped up and then we'll put them in there, get them all packaged and ready to go. Now that that is done, we can work over here in this corner, just getting this mess picked up. Some of the boxes um, I wasn't going to be using anymore, so we're going to go ahead and get those taken down and take them out into the garage. And yeah, just work on this corner, um, getting this cleaned out, and then we'll go ahead and 
um, sweep and then mop as well to get it nice and clean. And I found this cute little picture of Jameson and Chloe back when she was a newborn. Super adorable. It seems like such a long time ago, but it also just seems like last week. And the boxes that I'm still going to be using, I'm gonna put back in here in this corner, just so they're kind of out of the way and they're hidden. Here is what the engraver is doing. Um, this is sped up quite a bit here, but you can kind of see how it's engraving this really pretty picture and then the saying on the bottom. And then moving over to my shelves here, I'm going to fill up this shelf with a box of my glass jars that aren't designed yet or anything, just so that they're ready to grab when an order comes in. And then we're going to move over to the desk area now, just putting things away, getting the top cleared off, and everything cleaned. Um, it's amazing how much better, for me anyway, how much better I can think. And um, when the desktop isn't cluttered, it seems like my brain isn't quite as cluttered either. Here I found some pictures that the children had made for me. They were just sitting here waiting to have something done with them and I remembered I had this um, frame here that is made for your kids pictures and things that they make for you. So I'm going to put them in here. I'm going to put some of the extra ones down here on the bottom and then I'll frame out um, one of them and then we can trade it out a little bit later. So I did notice when I was putting this in that you can't see most of the picture because it's most of the picture is kind of around the edges. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the picture in first and then I'll put the mat in that way. It kind of covers up the rest of the edges that were, um, that you could see through. That way you can see the complete picture and um, our little artist's drawings. So with that, once that was put in, um, here is how it looks. Just a really pretty way to display your kids' pictures that they make for you. I thought about putting it over here at the desk, but then decided to put it over here in my workspace. It fit over here a little bit better. Um, that way I can see it while I'm doing my work. And don't worry about the other side of my the office area here over at the over in the kind of the workout area. It, that is a mess for another day that we will tackle um, some other time. But today we're focusing on my office area. So here is what it is looking like. 
I just can't believe how much better it feels down here once everything is cleaned up, put in its place. Um, it feels like I can work so much better down here now. So our tumbler is complete at this point. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out and see how it looks. So everything looks really good so far. I'm going to um, loosen it and take it out. And then we have one more step to do. And that is just washing off this top layer of where it was engraved. And I'm gonna use one of these, um, kind of the magic eraser. This is like the off brand. This is the cheap version. Those These work just perfectly fine. Um, but I'm just running a little water over it and then taking off that top layer, the black layer. Um, and it'll leave this really pretty stainless steel shiny part underneath. And so here is how the design looks. Um, it says your faith can move mountains and your doubt can create them. So just a really pretty design. And then the last step is to put the handle back on and then this one is ready to go. don't forget to check out my website um, for the couple designs that I have on there. Next we headed into town. I had a grocery pickup so of course we had to stop for some coffee on the way to keep me going the rest of the day. Um, I knew I had the bathroom to do yet um, so I needed a little little boost here. After we got home I'm just putting away the groceries that we got. The grocery pickup has been quite the lifesaver for me um, in the past couple months. It's so much easier to just order your things and then go pick it up. You can definitely stay in budget a little bit better, I think, if you do it this way. All right, and now we are moving into the bathroom. This is kind of our main bathroom um, that everyone uses, mostly the kids, but yeah, everyone kind of uses this one. So I'm gonna go ahead, first of all, and just spray down the shower tub area with some cleaner, and then I'll let that sit for a little bit. And I wanted to go through these cabinets here, just kind of pulling everything out, seeing what's in there, uh, wiping down the cabinet and um, getting it nice and organized in here. Um, I knew the cleaners here and things that I had in here were kind of all just thrown in this basket. So I'm gonna take everything out and then wipe down the basket and then put back just the things that we're actually using. And then this other cabinet where we keep all the towels, there were some towels that were just kind of pitched in here um, for some reason. And so we're gonna take those out and Weston is gonna be my little helper to get this cabinet all cleaned. So now that we have gotten that cleaned, I'm going to move over to the closet. And this is another super embarrassing area. Um, with the kids kind of, you know, in there as well, it's really just been quite the mess. 
and everything just kind of get gets pitched back in there not really put in the correct space anymore so it was definitely time to go through all the um, medications and things in here um, yeah it's just a lot of different things that we keep in here bandages yeah just things like that so I'm gonna go through everything and organize things and so here it is ready to put back and I keep all of these things um, all the medications and things on a turntable that way everything is where I can see it and here is how the closet looks after I was done so glad to have this done and looking a lot better And then I went out into the kitchen and I seen the kids were out with uh, Lamar. They had a little fire. They were start trying to start a little fire. It was such a beautiful evening. Perfect um, for a little fire and just enjoying the evening together. And I decided to go out and spend some time with them. Just enjoying the evening together. Um, Chloe had some marshmallows out there and we were just enjoying the fire and then moving back into the bathroom um, just finishing up the closet here and then we're going to start with the other part of the bathroom um, just giving everything a good cleaning and then I did order a few things that we will place uh, once the bathroom is clean just a few things um, things that were kind of getting worn out and that needed to be replaced I'm going to put one of these Clorox tabs into the toilet um, here in the back. I actually probably wouldn't buy these again because they are pretty strong, um, but I did have them so I decided to just use them um, instead of wasting them, um, just try to use them up. And over here at the, in the toilet area, I'm going to go ahead and just wash down all the walls the trim work and then um, yeah just everything around here the toilet area just get everything nice and cleaned again And for this time, I'm going to wash up the floor by hand, just with a rag, um, just to get all the corners really well and to um, get everything, yeah, just clean it a little bit better this way. Um, I think I can get in the nooks and crannies a little bit better and I'm going to just wipe down the baseboards as I'm going here.
All right, so now for the things that I had ordered. Um, one of them was a this toilet bowl brush, and this one looks a little bit more sleek than the one that I had. Kind of the same idea of the Clorox wand, but this one is just a different brand and a little bit better, and this one hangs on the wall. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. It has this little sticky thing um, that you put on the wall, the bracket, to hang up the, uh, the the system here and then you can just open it up and that is where all of your replacement heads go so I'm going to take those out put those in get it ready to use and then also just got another toilet bowl plunger to put in there as well just to replace the one that we had this toothbrush dispenser was not working. It never really did work right. So I decided to just do a different one. Um, and this one has like a magnetic cup um, like the other one did, but it's basically just the cup part. And then um, these are some new toothbrushes for the kids. And then this has a holder that you can put, you know, toothbrushes in the back, whatever. And then I also got this little roller thing for the, the toothbrush itself. That was hopefully a little easier for the kids to use. Here is the bathroom all cleaned and looking a lot better. I'm so glad to have that done as well. So thank you so much for watching. If you are still watching at this point, thank you so much for staying till the end and I will see you next time. Bye.